hey, I'm almost home. Dinner's ready, right? I'm really sorry, but I haven't started it yet. What? Why not? You were home all day since you took off work. That's because I wasn't feeling well. I've been in bed all day and it's been hard to even get up. You're always not feeling well. Stop using it as an excuse. But it's particularly bad today. I don't want to hear excuses. It's your job to make dinner, isn't it? I just don't have the energy to stand in the kitchen right now. He'll never make it in the real world with that attitude. Sasha is so reliable. Why can't you be more like your sister? I'm sorry. Do you think just apologizing is enough? Oh, I know. Make Sasha's favorite meatloaf tonight. Hold on a second. It's one thing to cook with ingredients I already have at home, but making meatloaf is a bit much. What's the problem? You can just go out and get the ingredients. I've been in my pajamas all day and haven't put on any makeup. Then get dressed and put on some makeup now. I can't go shopping and don't have the energy to cook either. Can you guys go out for dinner tonight? <sighs> Eating out again? You're just being lazy as usual. Pathetic! I truly don't have the strength. I'll make sure to cook from tomorrow. Just tonight. Please go out to eat. Fine, we'll do that. But don't think this is acceptable. Thank you. Ugh, you're so useless. You've been weak since you were a child, always getting sick. If you can't work, at least take care of the house properly. Yes, I understand. Honestly, why did I end up with a daughter like you? You should learn from Sasha and get your act together. I'm sorry. Mom, where are you? I just got home from work and no one's here. Where did everyone go? Oh, you're home earlier than I expected. Did you leave work early again because you weren't feeling well? You're still as weak as ever. No, that's not it. It's a maintenance day at the office building, so I couldn't work late. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I'm going to start making dinner. Oh, we don't need it. Why not? Are you guys out again? Yes, we are. So it's okay if I don't make dinner tonight? Yes, we're at a restaurant in the airport right now. Airport? We're going on a vacation. What? It's a family trip, just the three of us. Your dad, Sasha, and me. A family trip? Your dad got a three-month-long vacation. That long? Yeah. We also had some extra income, so we decided to splurge on an overseas trip. It's been a while since we had a family trip together. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, what about me? Do you really think you can be a part of us? But... If we took you along with your constant ailments, it would ruin the fun of the trip. Well... You're a hassle even on normal days. So don't get any ideas above your station. Got it. Good. Now behave yourself and stay home quietly. Okay. And don't contact us while we're on the trip. Why not? What if there's an emergency? <laughs> there's no way there'd be an emergency involving you. <laughs> if anything else comes up, a relative will get in touch. Anyway, we don't want to think about your gloomy face or voice during our fun family trip. Don't you dare contact us. Understood. Alright, we're about to board the plane. Don't slack off on the housework while we're gone for three months. And obviously, no wasting money. Yes, I understand. Hey, babe. 
Do you have a moment? I have something to ask you. Oh, hon. What's up? One of my guys saw your parents and sister at the airport earlier. Are you left alone at home? Yeah. They left for an overseas trip. It's a three-month-long vacation. Three months? That's a long time. Why do they go without you? Well, you know, I often have health issues. I guess taking me along would be too much trouble for them. Even so? Besides, I have work, you know. I can't take three months off. Well, that's true, but still, leaving you behind. Are you worried about me? You're so sweet thinking about someone like me. Babe, I've told you before, don't say someone like me. Oh, right. Oops, it's a habit. Yeah, I know it's hard to break habits. Especially after being mistreated by your toxic family for so long. I understand you can't change everything overnight. But try to think positively, even if it's just little by little. I will do. Thanks. And make sure you get yourself checked up. For what? You were sick and had to take time off work recently, right? But my family tells me not to go. They say my health issues are congenital. Seeing a doctor won't help. So it's a waste of money. No, you can't know without getting checked. It's not good to make assumptions without professional advice. But they say it's a waste of money. Spending money to maintain your health is never a waste. I'll introduce you to a good doctor I know. This is my number one request for my future wife. Your future wife? I'm planning to formally propose to you later. <laughs> um... Do you not want to marry me? I know I'm not the most conventional person, but... No, it's not that. If someone like me... No, I mean... I'm so happy. Great. I can't wait to be Mrs. Thatcher. I'm looking forward to it too. Kara, are you working right now? Or are you bedridden again with another one of your health issues? We're staying at a wonderful five-star hotel. The view is amazing, and the room is spacious, and we feel truly pampered. During the day, the three of us go sightseeing, and at night, we enjoy delicious food. We visited some famous tourist spots today, and Sasha is overjoyed. It would have been nice if you could have joined us, but with your health, that wouldn't be possible, you know. Anyway, the reason I took the trouble to message you is to make sure you're not slacking off on the housework. Just because I'm not there to watch you doesn't mean you can cut corners. Saying you're not feeling well is not an excuse, okay? Fulfill your responsibilities as a member of this family. And that's why you're staying at home. Oh, and don't bother replying to this message. As I mentioned before, we left. Don't contact us. We're enjoying our trip. We don't want to hear your complaints or excuses. We'll enjoy the rest of our vacation, so make sure you take care of the house. Do your best to be at least a little useful. Kara, you useless thing. Stop ignoring me and answer the phone. Where on earth are you? Um, am I allowed to reply to this message? Of course you can. We're back from our trip already. Oh, right. It's been three months since then. You've been slacking off on the housework, haven't you? Housework? Don't play dumb. I told you not to slack off while we were away. I don't know where you're wandering around, but come back and clean the house immediately. I didn't expect to come back from an amazing trip to be greeted by all this dust. Mom, listen. I moved out of there. What? I'm not coming back, so you'll have to do the cleaning yourself. What do you mean you moved out? How do you expect to survive out there with your illness? About that illness, 
I went to see a doctor and got a proper diagnosis. What? How dare you go behind our backs? I told you not to waste money. You should be saving wherever you can, but you always. And just listen. The reason I was always feeling sick is that I have a dust allergy. Dust allergy? It makes sense now. I didn't have any symptoms in my own room because I kept it clean and tidy. The worst symptoms always came after I cleaned your and dad's room. Hold on a minute. Are you saying it's our fault? That our rooms were dirty? There was a lot of dust, wasn't there? Despite pushing all the housework onto me, you wouldn't let me clean your room more than once a month. No wonder I had allergic reactions. Instead of making excuses, come back and clean the house. If you know the cause of your illness, you should take precautions and keep cleaning. I told you I'm not coming back. What the? I got engaged to the man I've been seeing. You had a boyfriend? I'm marrying him. That's ridiculous. Someone like you getting married? It's true. He's very understanding about my dust allergy and has introduced me to a specialist. Now, I can get regular treatment. He's truly a wonderful person. You made such an important decision without informing us. You told me not to contact you during the trip, so I'm reporting it now. Ugh, I don't care about your excuses. The problem is that you're trying to get married before Sasha. That's not acceptable. Does she have someone like that in her life? Pure, adorable, and studious Sasha would never just find someone on her own. We're planning to find a suitable man for her ourselves. So, when will I be able to get married? I don't care about your marriage. Your fiancé can't be that great if he chose you. <gasps> don't speak ill of him. He rescued me from the isolation I felt within this family. You have no right to say such things. Oh, whatever. No matter what you say, I'm going to get married as planned. Kara, how dare you talk back to me? I will never allow this marriage. Kara, it's been two months since you left home. I guess you're really getting hitched. I hear you're going ahead with a wedding without even consulting us. You think you're going to be happy on your own? Think again. <laughs> Mom? A long time no see, Kara. What do you want? I found out where your wedding is. How? Actually, I'm in the bride's preparation room right now. Wait, I didn't invite you. I used the invitation sent to a relative to get in. Relative? What are you talking about? I won't allow a useless, sickly person like you to get married. I'm going to ruin your wedding. Mom, what are you planning to do? <coughs> Answer me. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so good right now. This is the price you pay for getting married before Sasha, you sickly girl. Too bad for you, Kara. This is the end for you. I soaked your wedding dress in red wine, so the wedding is cancelled. <laughs> My wedding dress? I turned your pristine white wedding into a red mess. <laughs> You'll pay for disrespecting Sasha. Wait... No, you can't have your wedding. I'm already wearing my dress, though. What? In fact, my wedding just ended. I'm about to take off my dress. <gasps> it can't be. And by the way, where are you exactly? Where? At the place where you're supposed to get married. What's the name of it? I forgot, but it's a big chapel, right? I got married at a small chapel. Huh? Eh, 
and it's an overseas wedding. <gasps> overseas? The ceremony was only with his close family. So, whose dress did I... Wait, could it be that you went to Aunt Anita's friend's wedding? What? Anita's friend? My sister Anita? Yeah, I know her friend too. She met her through a golf lesson and she's in her 20s. Today is her wedding day and she invited Aunt Anita. Oh my god! So the relative's invitation you used was Anita's! And you used that to get into the wedding? Yeah. Did you check the bride's name on the invitation? Oh. So the wedding dress you ruined with red wine is... Oh no. This can't be happening. Kara! You ungrateful child! Because you had the audacity to have an overseas wedding, I've ended up in a huge mess. Anita's friend is demanding compensation. They want me to pay the full amount by next month to redo the wedding. Seventy grand. How am I supposed to pay that? Honestly, having your wedding on the same day was confusing. And most of all, getting married before Sasha. You're responsible for all of this. Everything is your fault. You're the cause of all this. So you better pay the 70 grand. You've got a lot of nerve. What? Kara, how dare you talk to me like that? What do you think you're doing to my wife, you witch? <gasps> Wait, who's this? Let me introduce myself. I'm Les Thatcher, Kara's husband. Les Thatcher? Thatcher? I see you've heard of me. Heard of you? Of course, but how do you and Kara- We were in the same high school, different grades. I fell for her at first sight. But you're from a mob family. My family left that life behind in my grandfather's generation. I now run a construction business. Just a regular guy. But still- the Thatcher family owns most of- Hey, you're quite chatty, aren't you? Oh no, it's nothing. If you prefer, I'll come over for a direct introduction. No, no, this is more than enough. Alright then, now let's discuss something. Kara wants to cut ties with you all. Yes, whatever you say. Good to hear that. I appreciate your understanding. From now on- Stay away from her, okay? Yes, we will, as you wish. One more thing. Yes, anything. About Sasha. What about her? We're planning to take her in as well. What? Please wait. Just don't take her. I'll do anything. Take her? She came to us herself. Huh? And by the way, she's here right now. Why? She wants to be with Kara. <gasps> that's a lie. They don't get along. Seems that's what only you and your husband thought. She says you guys only see her as your puppet. And the only one who treats her like a real person in the family is Kara. She didn't even want to go on that vacation and be separated from her. That's why she wants to stay with her. This is what she says. <gasps> that can't be true. I also heard you were trying to marry Sasha off to a 50-year-old nouveau riche man. Oh, um... She's a promising 22-year-old young lady. How did you know? And don't underestimate my information network. She's not only beautiful, but is also a prodigy as a child. That makes her a perfect match for that rich guy who wants her at any cost. Yes, he said he wanted her as his wife. However, he was originally her stalker. But he loves her. She cried and begged for help from me and Kara. We can't send her back to you. Please, just spare her. Without her, we're... You're planning to marry her off to the rich guy to secure your retirement funds, right? Oh. And I bet 
You were also planning to have that rich guy pay the 70 grand for the wedding you ruined. No, I- By the way, about that long vacation a few months ago, you told Kara that your husband got a long paid leave. But the truth is, he quit his job relying on the rich guy's financial support, and you guys used the severance pay to go on a lavish three months trip, didn't you? Uh, well... You despicable scum! <laughs> Alright, Sasha's cutting ties with you too. You'll have no contact with her ever again. Understood? Yes, of course. Alright, this settles it. Don't you dare go near Kara or Sasha again. If you break this promise... I understand. More than understand. I won't go near them. I won't call or text them. Don't worry about them at all. Rest assured and focus on paying off your debt and securing your retirement funds. My parents, who doted only on my sister, believed that Sasha and I didn't get along. Since we rarely talked to each other at home, it's understandable why they had that impression. But when they weren't around, we always consulted and helped each other. I was mistreated by them, which was painful, but Sasha had her own struggles. She was burdened with excessive expectations and was used for financial gain, causing her a lot of suffering. And now, the toxic parents who lost both daughters at once. The 50-year-old wealthy man demanded a refund of 200 grand he had given as an advance, claiming the deal was off. Since they had already spent the money, they now have to repay it as debt. Including the 70 grand they owe for the ruined wedding, their total debt is now $270,000. They tried to sell the house to repay the debt, but it didn't sell for the expected price, so they are far from paying it off. It looks like their path to freedom from this burden will be a long one. Now, I'm living a happy newlywed life with less. Sasha is also free from our selfish parents and smiles more than ever before. I'm truly grateful to Les for leading us to this new life. Thank you for watching! Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel! See you in the next video!